We get to the bottom of the gorge and suddenly we're face to face with the river. At this point, we're up for six hours of driving for potentially swamped, unclimbable boulders. But we knew that there'd be water down here and we had one thing in our mind and that was the James Trainer V13, the Sandman. If that went well, we were both super psyched to try the Al Price V12 called Rachel Hunter. Rachel Hunter. That's the Sandman. <laughs> what am I gonna do now? We've committed six hours of driving and everything that we wanted to do was wet. We have a walk around and have a look at a few other boulders in that area and there's actually a few bits of pretty interesting unclimbed rock. Psyche is 100% restored dry landings and fresh moves to decipher. We get to work and soon had a direct variant to the classic warm-up shade. It clocks in at around V10 and has a nice spicy top out too, which unfortunately didn't make it into frame, but it's pretty good and keeps you honest all the way to the top. After that, Lee was keen to see how some features on the right hand end of the block looked. We brushed and chalked this incredible water polished granite and set to work deciphering the moves. It looked pretty awesome and likely somewhere north of V10. Oh my gosh, I love this process. It's a completely open market of possibilities and you get to use your brain in such a fun way. When you're projecting something which is established, you know one and perhaps two things. First is the grade, this is V7. The second is super common these days and it's knowing the beta. When you've seen the video, photo, or chatted with friends about how the moves go, you immediately start to look for how you can climb that sequence that you've just watched the YouTube video of. Even if you don't know the exact sequence, you know there's a V7 method, and if you feel like you're busting chops like you're on V9, then you need to find a new sequence. When it's completely fresh rock, you get none of this. It's so fun, you get to empty your toolbox trying to decipher the easiest way that you can get up it. Do I put in a toe hook, a little bit of slow tension? What about this? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun and I need so much more of it in my life. That was sick. I do not think there was much left in the tank and Lee came devastatingly close as well. We marched out at the end of the day, both totally oh, knackered. That was magic! <laughs> there is no way I'm doing that. And headed straight to the pub for a palmy and cheers to a day that I won't be forgetting for a very long time. How good is rock climbing?